Hello, I'm Naomi and today I'm going to be planting some crocus sativus corms out into the garden. Crocus sativus are really easy to grow and there are three great benefits to planting them in your garden. Firstly, crocus sativus, also known as the saffron crocus, these are the flowers that you can actually harvest your own delicious saffron from. Really, really valuable, lovely spice and it's great in all sorts of recipes. Secondly, they have really, really wonderful autumn colour. You can plant a big swathe of them in beds like this or you can plant them in uh, containers if you prefer. And they'll flower in around late October, November, which is just lovely. Just as all the other colours in the garden are starting to fade, you get this lovely purple glow of flowers. And thirdly, they're naturalising as well. So you can plant them in your garden in uh, late summer. They'll flower during the first year if you buy top size bulbs, such as Farmer Gracie bulbs. And the following year, they'll actually multiply and reproduce under the ground. So, that, so the next year, you get even more flowers and that just continues year after year. So they give you really excellent value, lots of color every year for years and years to come. And they're brilliant to grow. Now I've got these um, crocus satyrus bulbs here from Farmer Gracie. These are top size bulbs. And they're really good quality, large bulbs. These will flower in the first year. And the best time to plant them is from around late August towards the end and up until the end of September. And they should flower within two to three months in the first year. And you may just get one or two f uh, flowers per bulb in the first year, but every year after that you'll get more and more and more. So, they're very easy to plant. You just need to dig a hole for each bowl, about 10 to 15 centimetres deep, which is handily about um, a trowel's depth. So just dig a hole to about the depth of your trowel. There we go, and position one bulb in, in one, well they're corms actually, one corm in each hole and they have this tufty bit on the top, which is the top side and the um, rounded end face, uh, facing and facing downwards. Focus sativus like full sun, but they can tolerate very light shade and they also like good free draining, rich soil. And they don't really like clay soil, but you can grow them in, in clay soil types if you dig in a good mulch first so it's not too heavy. It's, um, it, needs, it needs drainage. Now you, plant, you position them about 10 centimetres apart from each other. And each time, just put it in and cover back over. I'm just going to plant a few here to show you, but I'm going to fill this whole area with crocus sativus, which will look lovely in the autumn. Nice big group of them. And then each year afterwards, the group will get fuller and, and brighter and look lovely. There we go. Now, because it's late summer and it's still quite warm and the soil's still fairly dry, these need a good watering in to get them started. So, give them a good soak. And make sure you give the whole area that you plant a really, really thorough soaking so the water gets right down to the bulbs. They need to be hydrated in order to activate into growth. And then that's really all you need to do. In a couple of months time, these will start to flower. And then you can uh, actually pick the, it's the stigma that's the saffron, which um, is the long red bit that comes out of the center of the bloom. And you usually get, I think it's three per bloom. And you just use tweezers and carefully pluck each one out. And then you can dry it and you need to dry it before you use it. So you can put it on kitchen towel or on tea towel or on a drying rack, which is layers of canvas. And you put each stigma on there to dry out for two to three days in a warm, dry place. And then they'll be ready to store. Just pop them in a jar, an airtight jar or a tin, and you can keep those for several years. And in the first year, you may not have the fullest crop, but every year afterwards, there'll be more and more. So they're definitely well worth growing. 
Um, in late autumn the flowers will finish and they'll start to die down and they'll just leave foliage in place. In the springtime the foliage will still be there and usually in spring it's nice and rainy so that keeps them nice and hydrated because that's the time that they, the corms actually start to reproduce and produce daughter corms all around the, the, the previous year's mother corm and these are the, these several corms that are formed around each one are going to be the next year's flowers. So to make sure that they reproduce really well, you need to give, make sure that they're well watered in the spring as well. If it's a dry spring, uh, do water them regularly uh, so that they can, they can do a good job of reproducing and that will be the next year's flowers. Although if it's, if it's raining every day, then you shouldn't need to worry about that. Um, although during dry spells it's always worth chucking a bit more water on at this time if you want to have a really really good harvest of saffron the next year. And then come um, June, July the foliage will die down and they'll just sit dormant in the ground. You don't need to do anything else, they'll just sit in the ground and then they'll start to flower again from the following um, autumn onwards. Probably a little earlier than in the first year so perhaps around from mid-October onwards. And that's all you need to do. I hope you enjoyed my video on planting crocus sativus and I hope you enjoy growing your own.